सो हेलो एंड वेलकम टू ऑल माय डियर एस्पिरेंस टू सेल टू एम डी एस डेंडल अकेडमी सो एस्पिरेंस वी आई एव यथ आवर मैराथन लेक्चर्स ऑफ नीट एम डी एस ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी पेपर सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डील विद पार्ट एट अलॉन्ग विद इम्पॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट एंड इमेजेस सो लेट स्टार्ट सो इट्स अ वेरी गुड केस रिपोर्ट ऑफ ट्रामा सो एस्पिरेंस दो वॉन्ट टू अटेन दी ट्रामा लेक्चर यू कैन क्लिक ऑन दाई बटन नंबर आई एक्सप्लेन ऑल द काइंड ऑफ ट्रामा बिकॉज इन योर एग्जामिनेशन नीट एग्जाम they definitely ask you two to three questions on trauma so you should have complete idea about treatment plan and what type of fractures are there let's see this case report so an upper central incisor undergoes traumatic injury with horizontal fracture of apical third in young patient the coronal segment of the affected tooth is mobile so what is the treatment here so what you can do as per your here you can go for flexible splinting of coronal segment and you have to check vitality periodically that's the second question a 45 year old woman has a dry eyes dry mouth and dry skin her tongue is erythematous and shiny so what is the diagnosis it is a characteristic features of jogren syndrome remember aspirant jogren syndrome have many features like dry eyes dry nose dry mouth cavities chewing difficulties dry skin upset stomach vaginal dryness memory difficulties speech difficulties heartburn and swallowing problem respiratory condition pain and arthritis liver problem and numbness in extremities so all these will indicate the features of jogren syndrome then in a community discussion if four to five people who are experts are talking on a common topic in front of audience so what is the type of discussion it is a panel discussion then aspirant a slowly progressing lesion of mandibular ramus of 6 month duration is histologically identified as granular ameloblastoma so the granules in this ameloblastoma are made up of what they are made up of lysosomes then which of the following act as an astringent remember aspirant the zinc chloride act as astringent what is the gold standard investigation for lymphedema it is lymph angiography then entis law is used for selection of what it is used for selection of abutment teeth now it is a case report an 8 year old boy has lost 6 5 prematurely due to which the permanent teeth has dripped mesially so all the following can be used to digitalize the permanent molar except tad appliance what is tad it is a temporary anchorage device appliance so as per you should know the list of appliances used for molar digitalization like you can use super elastic jones jig the pendulum appliance most commonly used you can use clasp spring removable molar digitalization splint fixed piston appliance k loop appliance distal jet implant and fixed functional appliances so these are around 9 to 10 appliances you can use for molar digitalization now a male 34 year old is suffering from bilateral parotid enlargement with orchitis so what type of illness it is it is a viral illness fine aspirant now pickling is done with 50% hydrochloric acid then a person is there with a long history of alcohol intake report with acute alcohol intoxication so what type of enzyme you should use to mark acute toxicity you can use ast there is a aspartate transaminase now which caries index was introduced to increase awareness regarding carie susceptibility in population with high caries activity you can use sci that is significant caries injury and treatment of secondary teeth secondary means permanent teeth if concussion is that you can reassure the patient if subluxation is that you can reassure and splint for two week if there is excessive tenderness extrusive luxation flexible splint for two weeks lateral luxation you have to reposition the teeth and place a flexible splint for four weeks or you can go for orthodontic repositioning if there is intrusive luxation if mild is there allow reeruption without intervention for several week but if no movement is there you have to initiate repositioning but in case of severe cases it requires surgical or orthodontically reposition the tooth or teeth then aspirant 
A 20 year old female reports with ulcers on palate, splenomegaly, lymphadenopathy. Serum examination reveal heterophyll agglutination. So, what is the diagnosis? It is infectious mononucleosis. Now, what level 3 lymph node include? It includes jugular type of lymph nodes. Let's see the levels of lymph node. So, as per the first level is your submandibular and submental, simple to remember. Level 2 are your superior spinal accessory, superior jugular and jugular digastric. Level 3 is your mid jugular. Level 4, jugular omohyoid and inferior jugular. Level 5 are your inferior spinal accessory and transverse cervical. Level 6 is central compartment, consists of pre and paratracheal lymph nodes. And level 7 is your mediastinum area include infraclavicular or thymic lymph nodes which include anterior mediastinal then about infectious mononucleosis remember it consists of atypical lymphocyte that is a tonsillar exudates and large spleen and caused by epstein barr virus four classical points of infectious mononucleosis let's see a few important clinical features it is known as kissing disorder why because transmitted by saliva the patient have fever, malaise, exudative pharyngitis and there is a presence of cervical lymphadenopathy. A question once asked which lymphadenopathy with a posterior or anterior. Remember in infectious mononucleosis we have posterior lymphadenopathy. The patient may have a rash following amoxicillin. How to diagnose this? You can go for heterophile antibody test and treatment is supportive care and you have to avoid contact. Then one more trauma question, which of the following traumatic dental injury will show gingival cravicular bleeding? It is subluxation. Now a person is there with a history of radiation therapy undergoing tooth extraction. He develops osteoradionecrosis of bone subsequently. So what are the factors responsible? It is RTI, that is radiation, trauma and infection. Then indifferent fiber plexus is made up of what? They are made up of collagen fibers. Now, which is the most common location of secondary metastasis to mandible? It is molar region. So, experience yes, that was all for today. If you want need MDS 2020 paper and last minute is a note, you can DM me and any other doubt experience, you can contact me. We are going to start new base from 20 December for demo lecture. Also, you can contact me and experience. We are going to upload within two days one video that how to attempt need examination very important for all of you because you know most of time we know the things but we don't know how to get through it okay so we are going to see that video within two days till then aspirant take care study hard any doubt you can contact me